This is WJZ-TV Baltimore. In your community, where you live. WJZ News at noon starts right now. Budget deal. The agreement moments into another government shutdown. And the impact of the compromise bill. Hello again, I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Lynn Bowie. The second government shutdown in three weeks has ended. This morning, President Donald Trump signed a $400 billion budget deal. Molenghi reports for WJZ on how Congress came to an agreement. Tens of thousands of commuters woke up to find their way to work or school blocked as the MTA subway has closed. Mike Shu is live with details about the emergency repairs underway. Mike? Well, good afternoon. Taking a live look over Baltimore right now, a bit overcast. Temperatures, though, beginning to rise. Marty in the Outback and meteorologist Tim Williams updating the current conditions. Tim. Well, Lynn, we do have another chilly day in store, but nothing so unseasonably unusual, we'll call it. Temperatures are on the cool side, sitting at 38 degrees currently. Just a little above freezing in parts of the area. 34 in Bel Air, 31 in Westminster, 33 in Hagerstown, 30 out in Oakland. But it is warmer as you start to head down the eastern shore. Easton and Cambridge, 41 degrees in both locations, 40 in Ocean City and 40 in Washington. That 38 degrees is about 7 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. We've lost the wind. Temperatures are going up just a little bit. And while we do have some light snow showers up to our north, that's not making its way in here. But there is going to be some precipitation we have to watch. Now, for more on that, sending it out to Marty Bass in the Outback. Hey, Martin. Well, thank you very much, Tim. Hi, everybody. That foul weather, Tim, just showed you, is being kept at bay by what's going to be an increasingly strong southerly flow. Let's go ahead and show you what else is going to happen with that southerly flow. As high pressure moves offshore into the return flow, here comes that, here comes that warm air and a pretty good moisture plume. We're going to get some rain in here tomorrow and Sunday, maybe lingering into Monday. And the thinking is right now we may have as much as three quarters of an inch to an inch in some isolated areas around the mid-Atlantic. So indeed, summing up, we're talking about, generally speaking, a mild weekend, but a gray weekend. But mild and gray conditions continue into next week toward Valentine's Day. But with mild and gray this time of the year comes a chance of rain. We'll talk more about that shortly in our weather segment. And now with we'll what back inside. Marty, Tim, thank you. Remember to download WJZ's weather app to keep track of our changing weather, hourly, daily, and extended forecasts, plus severe weather warnings. Search WJZ Weather and get our app hot air balloon slam into the ground. Special delivery, Whole Foods and Amazon team up for a unique shopping experience. Warm up ahead. Could rain impact your weekend plans though? Tim has the updated forecast next. Cloudy and 38 degrees in Central Maryland right now. The updated forecast is coming up. On WJZ News at noon, temperature rise on the way. Tim has a look at your weekend forecast coming up. And here's a look at today's midday stocks. WJZ News is sponsored by Demore Personal Injury Law. Uh, welcome back. This is our Friday noon puppy. This is Falcor. He's a, he's actually a terrier mix. He's five years old. Now, there is reason he's got his cone on. Uh, yesterday, he was neutered. Uh, dogs that come into the SPA are spayed and, or spayed and neutered um, to help control the pet population. Not at the same time. Not at the same time, that. obviously. But, but so he was just operated on yesterday. Look out that way, bud. He's cutie. He is, he is, he, we can yeah. see over here. And he's surprisingly pleasant for just having undergone such yeah, a surgery. He's calm. Such. A surgery. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, <laughs> if you can find a good home for this beautiful little dog, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, he's at the Maryland SPCA, and by Hello. the time you uh, get him, the cone's going to be off, and you'll be free to lick away. Okay, Tim Williams, it's going to get mild. Thank goodness. Take it away, buddy. Absolutely. You know, we'll take the trade off. Mild temperatures are headed our way. A little rain after we get into the middle of the afternoon tomorrow. But for today, just enjoy the temperatures gradually going up. 38 degrees currently a temperature at BWI Thurgood Marshall with a south wind at 10 miles per hour. Our weather watchers are checking in this afternoon. Let's go 36 degrees here with 
Jim and Rose Yurichek. They're in Dundalk with 36 degrees in their neighborhood. Other weather watchers, Phil Cosmicki in Westminster, 34 degrees there. Aberdeen Dean up in Harford County, 35. Larry Bennett over in Cumberland, 34 there. Barbara and Wayne Case Camp, Bel Air, Maryland, 34 degrees in their neighborhood. Official temperatures across the state, 30 degrees over in Cumberland, 40 down in Ocean City. Everyone falling pretty much in that range. We have 41 in La Plata, Easton, Cambridge, and in Patuxent River. And we're looking at Temperatures in the low 30s from Bel Air over toward Hagerstown, 33 over in Hagerstown, and 33 in Westminster at this hour. Nation's capital at 40 degrees. That wind is coming in with a bit of a southerly component. That milder air is ahead of the rain that's going to move into the region starting tomorrow afternoon. Marty showed you this at the top of our broadcast here. The uh, colder air is now pushed up to our north, up around the Great Lakes, Detroit, Chicago, seeing some of that snow. But the milder air is starting to move in from the south. That is also the direction of the rain that's going to be moving in here from the Gulf. Now we get into this afternoon and evening, the clouds will start to increase. We get into tomorrow afternoon, Futurecast stopped at 3 p.m. You start to see some of that rain arriving from the west. Now we get into the evening and the overnight right on 3 through Sunday. First batch of rain moves out of here on Sunday evening, but it may not be until Monday that all of the rain moves out. And in that meantime, we could see more than an inch of rain in parts of the area. Then we get a bit of a clearing out. We will have some chances of some showers going into the middle of the week. But for today, 42 degrees, variable clouds, a milder day than the last few. The normal high is now 44. And then for tonight, 34 degrees, mostly cloudy, not quite as cold as even the normal overnight low of 26. We'll be at 34 degrees. That'll feel like Florida compared to what <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm still musing on such surgery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. No. Oh, we are. That's why we're. <laughs> yeah, I said he was in a great mood considering. Considering. Well, still to come yeah. on WJZ News at noon, what new research reveals about patients diagnosed with depression. That's coming up in Health Watch. WJZ's Drone 13. Take it to the skies over Baltimore and beyond. Every angle. Every neighborhood. Taking you places no one else can. WJC's Drone 13. In today's WJZ Health Watch, we're learning more about people diagnosed with depression and if they're checking with WJZ News today at 4, 5, and 6. Commuter chaos. Baltimore subway closed for emergency repairs. The ripple effect and when repairs will be done. Plus, two new flu deaths in Maryland. The latest new numbers released by the CDC. Join us for these stories and all the day's breaking news today at 4, right after Dr. Phil. And stay with us. Your five-day forecast is next. All right, welcome back. It's uh, it, it's a break here. We're uh, going to be getting some milder air, mm -hmm. and this time, just think back to Ooh. last winter when it stayed mild most of the winter, and right. it was very gray. Uh, it's a function of you know warm air overrunning cold air. Right, it is. You get clouds, you get showers. 52, 64, 48, 42, the lowest number there. That's fine by us. And note the overnight lows. Nothing below 32. Ooh, I we'll like take that it. 60, I like 64. That six. Oh, good. Take. Don't forget to tune in to CBS Tonight. Bull starts at 10, followed by WJZ News at 11. And thanks for watching WJZ. I'm Lynn Bowie. I'm Jessica Cartalia. I'm Tim Williams. I'm Marty Bass. Gets online. Anything you need to know on demand at WJZ.com. Have a good one. Winter weather affects every one of us. And when Mother Nature gives her worst, you need the best. You need to know what's coming our way, no matter what winter brings. WJZ's weather team is on it. How cold will it get? Is snow in the forecast? Will schools be closed? Winter brings a lot of questions. But there's only one answer. It's WJZ, your winter weather connection.